not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of God. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel reading for today answers one very important question. What makes a true disciple? Or who is a real disciple? There is only one criterion of true discipleship. There is one sure way of going to heaven and one sure way of going to heaven according to the gospel today is listening to the word of God and putting it into practice. In other words, the challenge addressed to everybody, to all of us, to myself included, is that we must not only listen, we must also act. We must not only be listeners, we must also be doers. So what characterizes a real follower of Christ? And part of the answer to this question is touched on in the gospel today, the true disciple is a doer of the word, not merely a hearer, not merely <coughs> a listener of the word. The true disciple does not merely talk about the will of the Father, but actually follows, but actually obeys the will of the Father. Our Lord Himself is an outstanding example of a person who was always doing the will of the Father. In one statement that He made in the Gospel of John, Jesus said, It is not to do my own will that I have come down from heaven, but to do the will of Him who has sent me. And in today's Gospel, our Lord warned His followers that not everybody who calls on Him, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. When He was suffering in His agony in the garden, the prayer of Jesus was, My Father, if this cup of suffering cannot pass me by without my drinking it, your will be done. And of his disciples, the Lord says, Whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is brother and sister and mother to me. So my dear brothers and sisters, our Lord is demanding two things from us. For Him, only a house whose foundations are firm can withstand the storm, and only a life whose foundations are sure can stand the test. And what are these two things? Number one, our Lord demands that a follower should listen. The first step to the Christian life is simply to give Jesus a chance to be heard. And one of the great difficulties that face us today is the simple fact that many people, Christians included, do not know what Jesus said or what the church teaches. We are encouraged, we are motivated to listen, to listen to the Word of God to take the Word of God seriously and to listen to the will of God in the different events of our life. The second is that the Lord demands that a follower should do. Knowledge becomes relevant when it is translated into action. Knowledge must become action. Theory must become practice. Theology must become life. My dear brothers and sisters, it is not enough to be well versed in the Bible if one wants to be saved. What is important is to follow, to put into practice the teachings of the Lord. 
listening to the words of Jesus without following them is like building a house on sand. But listening to the words of Jesus and putting them into practice is like building a house on a foundation of solid rock. Formal profession of piety, like calling Jesus Lord, Lord, does not assure us of admission into the kingdom of God. A real disciple listens, and a real disciple acts on the word of God. Amen.